open matlab and as usual uh, before we start writing uh, the commands into the matlab uh, we have to show, make sure that uh, our uh, current path of the matlab is set to the same directory on which our images are residing only then we can run commands directly otherwise we have to provide the complete path of the directory in order to run the commands so uh, we are working on a directory and we have a sun image let's see how it, how it look like so first uh, in this video we will crop this image and then we will save the image uh, or the new image into the same folder so first we will read the image uh, into the variable by i am read command and variable has been created and then we will create a new variable and as we want to crop the data in matlab we directly we can crop the data directly because ultimately the image which has been read uh, from this folder that is stored in matlab in a form of a matrix so it is uh, cropping an image is just like uh, uh, selecting a sub matrix out of the bigger matrix so it is very simple suppose we want to crop the image data from uh, 300 rows to um, and and uh, we want to crop from 300 uh, one column to uh, 500 column and all other variable then simply a variable a has been created and it's being two dimensional so we have to put like this so variable a has been created which is containing the information of the original image uh, a part of the original image so if we want to um, see how the new variable is looking like so this is the new variable image a so it is a and uh, for better comparison we will display both image on the same figure so figure then subplot 211 and then i am show img and then subplot two one two. I am show a. So both our images are there. This was the original image, and this is the cropped version of it, which uh, we have applied uh, from this command. So cropping an image uh, in the MATLAB it's very easy. And we can also uh, save uh, uh, this dropped image, that means this particular image, by a new name into the same folder. So first, let's uh, clear the screen. And for saving the image, we have a command uh, by the name of I am right. I am right. Then the variable name, and then the image name by which we want to um, store uh, this variable, like modified dot jpg. So, a modified image has been created into the current uh, current folder, and if we if we want to see the uh, new image, then we can directly write modified dot jpg, and okay, let's first close all the windows, and now I am sure modify jp so this is the cropped image which we had cropped from the original image using the similar simple command and then we stored the same image into the same folder and then we have displayed it back so by this method we can easily crop a small portion of the whole image uh, of the whole image uh, in matlab arrays so that's it for this video. Thank you.